Hi guys, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, we are going to see one small tutorial. In that, I am going to show you how to resolve the course error in our client server microservice. So I have one EY service which is implemented in Angular, and this is a simple microservice. Uh, all as it is, I am keeping, and uh, I'm just calling my backend service. In backend service, I have written one small hello world uh, API which will return me uh, hello. I have not started it yet. And I have created that microservice using a Spring Initializer where I am choosing 2.6.9 as a nine as a Spring Boot version. Then I am giving my group IDs and taking the packaging as a jar and here Java. And I have added a Spring Web as a dependency. I'm going to show you this is a small microservice which has a main class and I have created this controller which this says that I have a C as a controller and in that I am having a get method which will return a me hello. And this hello method I am calling from my Angular project and in Angular I am using I have created this Angular project using ng new command and I have not did anything in this project apart from in app.component.ts file I am calling my API my backend API which is a get method and when I start when I call this API initially I will get a course error because in Spring Boot I am not allowing any request which are not coming from your server's API server's URL like if I started this application okay this simple application has been started and I am going to show you that it is returning if I say hello, it is returning hello. And I'm calling this API in my Spring Boot application. If I call this, I am getting course error because cross origin resource sharing is not allowed. So that I have to tell my microservice, let the request come from other URL also. And you have to filter out from which URL you will allow those. So for this, we have to add a small bin which will handle all these scenarios, which is so cross origin we can handle at our controller level. In controller level, if you make annotation as a cross and course cross origin, and if you use it as a star, that means it will allow all it will allow to access your all methods and it is allowed from all APIs. Let restart this application and test. Okay, now I will call this API and it, it returning me a 200. So this is a, it is returning hello. So this is at your controller level. But if you, if your microservice has a multiple if your microservice has a multiple controller to adding this annotation in all your method and it is not possible or sometimes it is a pro it is a beneficiary when you want to add the granular level access at your in your microservice if you open this cross origin and this cross origin it will take that uh, all default origin which we are making as a star default allowed headers we are making as a star and allow credential also we are giving max edge we are giving so all these headers and methods you can and origin you can define and for those particular origin it will allow to access that method now i am going to show you how to add global level configuration to access your microservice so i am commenting my cross origin annotation and in this Okay, 
Now, in this, I am telling, I am allowing only requests which are coming from localhost 4200. Let me restart this application and test this. So application has been started. Check, check this is working or not on our on our EY. So let me refresh this, and it's perfectly working. It is returning me hello. So this, so this is it, guy. This is a small video which will explain how to solve the issue cause issue in a Spring Boot microservice. If you want any other videos on particular topic, please do comment in comment section. And if you like such videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.